Hi, a quick video here to show you how to add your own motion to text or objects in live type. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a piece of text that slides onto the screen from off the side. Simple effect, but nice if you can do it under your own control. First thing to do is add some text or identify the piece of text you want to work with. I'm going to add some text. Just going to use something simple so we can see what's going on. The other thing, I'm going to move the text from off the screen area to on the screen area. I'm going to need to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to change the zoom so that I can see a little bit of space around my stage. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our own effects track. So we're not going to choose one of the standard effects we're going to add our own effect and then we're going to make that effect move the text from off the screen to the place we want it to go via the path we want it to take. In this case I'm going to do it on a straight path. So the thing to do now, we've got our text, we're going to put a new effect track. So let's go up to the track menu, add new effect and that adds an effect line just like we selected it from the standards below our text effect, our text line. Okay, now whenever you generate motion, whatever the program is, uh, if you want the thing to end up in a particular place, the place to start is at the end. So I'm going to place my text where I want it to end up. Okay, so I'm going to say that I want it to end up in this bottom right hand corner. Obviously you might have a place on the screen you want your your text to end up precisely. Get that lined up. Do that first. Now we're going to put our effect to work by marking that as our end point. The first step is to move our playhead to the end of the time of our effect. Make sure the text is selected and then we're going to make sure our effect is selected so that when we add our keyframe, our point in time where we want the action to start or stop, it'll affect that effect. Okay, so to add a keyframe we're going to go up to the track menu again, add keyframe which has now become available and our little mark appears on our effect timeline. Nothing else happens on the screen but that mark appears. So we've got our stopping point, we now need to create our starting point and we do that by again moving the playhead just to the start, not exactly on the start notice and not exactly on the end, a mark before it will do so we can see what we're doing. And You'll see beginning keyframe, okay now what we want to do is we want to move our text to the off-screen position where we want it to start from and then we need to set a marker saying this is the start position, this is the start keyframe. I've positioned the playhead in the right place, now I have to position the text. Now, be very careful, do not move the grab handle here, the overall line. Move one of the text boxes otherwise the effect won't actually be applied. Okay, Now you can tell the difference if I grab this line here and drag it you can see the text just moves. Okay, now If I just undo that, if I grab a letter you should see that this line is extending with these dots on it. That is a motion path that's how you know you're actually creating motion in an effect. Just undo that. I want this to slide in a straight line straight onto the screen. So get hold of my letter and then as I'm dragging I'm going to hold down the shift key. That enforces a directly horizontal drag no matter where I wiggle my mouse. Okay, That's quite a neat trick. Let go. And that has affected or created a keyframe at that point for me. Okay, All that's left to do, hit play, there's my text. 
I actually need to set an out point to stop it flying off the end for the purposes of the demonstration. Play head to the start, play, there we go. Now, can I adjust this? Yes, I can adjust how quickly the motion happens by moving the end keyframe. The closer it gets to the start, the less time between the start point and the end point. Start again, there we go. If I want it to take longer, then I have to make the effect longer and move the end point. There we go. And there you have it. How to create your own text motion effect.